Bonjour à tous, aujourd'hui on jette un oeil à The Invincible, un jeu d'aventure narratif à choix et avec plusieurs fins adapté du roman éponyme de Stanis Lolem, que je n'ai pas lu donc je ne pourrais pas vous faire de comparatif. On y suit une astrobiologiste débarquant avec son équipe sur une planète inexplorée aux conditions favorables à la vie, mais rien ne va se passer comme prévu. Dans le menu principal, il y a une bande dessinée, en gros c'est le résumé de votre histoire qui va se débloquer petit à petit, je ne vais pas vous la montrer parce que ça vous spoilerait. Et le repère c'est une sorte de benchmark pour tester si le jeu est fluide ou pas, mais je trouve pas terrible. Le Dragonfly, une petite unité de recherche du Commonwealth interplanétaire, avec un équipage de 6 membres, parcourt des régions éloignées de l'espace. Après avoir visité plusieurs mondes et exploré de nombreuses planètes, la mission d'exploration touche à sa fin. Cependant, sur le chemin du retour, il reste une tâche à accomplir pour l'équipage. Malgré les risques, l'astrogator Novich s'est lancé dans l'extraction d'un minéral rare et cher. Une jambe cassée et une immense douleur plus tard, Novich obtient le minéral. Cependant, l'accident de l'astrogator n'empêche pas de fêter la fin du cycle de recherche. Un moment de franc succès idéal pour tisser des liens profonds. Satisfait, les membres mettent le cap pour rentrer chez eux et vont se reposer dans les chambres d'hibernation. La plupart du temps on peut se déplacer assez classiquement avec ZUSD, mais quand on voit un cercle apparaître, ça veut dire qu'on peut interagir. S'il est vide, c'est un clic avec la souris. Si, comme là, il y a une flèche vers le haut, c'est la touche Z. Et si on a une vers le bas, ce sera logiquement la touche S. À certains moments, on pourra lancer un dialogue. La plupart du temps, il y aura un temps imparti. Donc je ne pourrais pas forcément toujours lire toutes les alternatives. N'hésitez pas à faire pause si jamais vous avez besoin. Au secours, vous êtes là, Koval Marit, Yasna à la base, j'aimerais signaler un problème. Et bien sûr, on ne peut pas explorer toutes les alternatives lors d'une même partie. Base, c'est stop pour Yasna. J'ai besoin de backup. Base, venez. J'ai un. Je vais montrer des symptômes disturbants. Un brain fog. Severe pain in the frontal lobe. Confusion. At first glance, there are no serious injuries. And yet, I'm quite concerned. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, well, here is. Backup needed, I repeat. Do you hear me? Là, vous voyez qu'il y a un temps qui se vide. I can't hear you anymore. My receiver worked for a moment, but now there's only silence. Damn it! I lost my beacon. Where is it? I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Like I thought, nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Là c'est notre journal de bord, ça va aussi servir de carte. Là c'est vraiment la facette tutoriel dont ça va nous expliquer globalement les choses. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. 
And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. On est sur la carte du monde, mais c'est découpé en secteurs. Et on peut avoir la carte du secteur détaillée. Trouvez votre position exacte. Là, il y a trois repères qui sont répertoriés le chien, l'aiguille ou le crocodile. On sort le télémètre et là on va pouvoir essayer d'observer certaines choses. Je crois que j'avais pris le chien. Bingo I found the dog. We have the first one. I need one more. Et on va prendre l'aiguille. Je ne l'ai pas dit tout à l'heure, mais on peut zoomer, dézoomer, et il y a aussi une modification de la distance pour faire le point. Grâce au télémètre, on peut avoir notre position maintenant sur la carte, donc ça nous sera très utile. En bas à gauche, on a débloqué une BD dans le menu principal. On peut sprinter, mais ça va pas très loin. Pas très efficace. Pourquoi en aurais-je besoin Je l'emmène avec moi. J'ai laissé le détecteur tout simplement parce que dans ma partie test, je l'avais gardé et c'est vrai qu'il était complètement inutile. On va essayer de voir les différences. Oh, Oh, 
Mon esprit est encore en hibernation, debout et dans les starting blocks. I've been conscious for a while. It's fine. I can go. N not too fast. Otherwise, we'll be picking you up off the floor. Now, try to get up slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. This can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. Au début, comme notre mémoire est un peu défaillante, on aura de temps en temps des petits flashbacks quand on va se souvenir de choses. Trouver un chemin vers le camp. On va sortir la carte. Il faut monter au nord-est. En effet, on n'est pas le prince de Perse. Il y avait un autre chemin par ici. Ah oui, il y a de la buée quand on sprint. Ou alors c'est les nuages de sable. Un autre chemin par le nord. Où est-ce que j'en suis Je peux pas escalader là. Et pas de retour en arrière. J'ai l'impression que ce sera pas par ici non plus. On va descendre et on va aller voir. Time to go. En effet, c'est un cul de sac. Donc en fait, j'ai voulu aller au plus court et c'était pas ce qu'il fallait faire.
On va suivre l'espèce de chemin qui se dessine. Et le jeu est assez lent pour les déplacements. Il est assez narratif et contemplatif. Et de temps en temps des petits frises. Mais ça n'arrive pas très souvent, j'ai dû en avoir deux ou trois alors que j'ai terminé le jeu pour le tester. J'espère pas non plus. Il fait un petit peu sombre et à un moment je me suis retourné tout simplement parce que je voulais vérifier mais il y a bien deux chemins pour passer. Et si on en a pas, ça va être compliqué. Je vais chercher un autre moyen de descendre. Je vais tenter ma chance. Si on doit attendre, on va essayer de se planquer. On va essayer d'aller directement vers lui. Camp. Find a place to land. 
I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Astrogator, sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the world of paradise, no radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the grand activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second. 
converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance, while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm hmm Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just a Andrew robot. Bot. Hey! Anybody out there? It's Dr. Yasna! was correct. Life on Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novik? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on a shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate it. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, Paradise, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, not the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Probe in the water and switching to manual. 
Distance, 100. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. Catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Stop it! What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, yes, no? <laughs> Reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Hello? Anyone here? Marit! It's Yasna! I, I came for you! Dr. Crowter, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. 
And there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary. Something is very wrong with him, and I can't figure out what. Which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay, what should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Eh ben, on va le chercher. Je vous laisse faire pause pour lire. Pas de mission log, mais ça va le faire. Docteur Crowther a gardé des records. Meticulous, comme toujours. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a là Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. Followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? On a le choix dans ma partie test. J'avais d'abord réparé. Là, je vais dire que je vais y aller. Right. The others. No time to lose. Exactly. All right, you tin bastard. One more time. <laughs> and once more, status. Damn piece of oh. No. No point in going back this way. Look sur le journal. On n'a pas beaucoup d'informations. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. On est resté sur le même objectif. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? 
C'est pas celui-là. Je vais juste allumer le clavier. Là, la structure s'illumine. Enfin, j'ai appuyé sur la bonne touche, mais pas celle que je voulais. Je l'avais pas trouvé dans ma partie test. Elle est par là, mais je peux pas y aller directement. Je peux pas escalader ça, dommage. Il y a des souterrains. Et on va s'arrêter là pour la présentation. Au final, contrairement à ce que j'ai dit, j'ai pas lu les alternatives. Je pense que la plupart du temps, vous aviez quand même relativement la possibilité de les lire. Vous avez vu comment ça se présentait Il y a des éléments qui peuvent faire penser à un jeu d'horreur, ou en tout cas que ça va basculer dedans. C'est pas vraiment le cas. En tout cas, moi qui suis assez peureux, ça m'a pas posé de problème à aucun moment. Et donc ça reste un jeu très narratif, avec beaucoup de dialogue. Et comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, assez lent et contemplatif. En attendant, j'espère que la vidéo vous aura plu et vous aura permis de vous faire une opinion sur le jeu. Moi je vous dis à la prochaine pour un autre sous de Kali.